In this module, we're going to talk about creating a data collection plan. I like this quote by the former CEO of Hewlett Packard. The goal is to turn data into information and information into insight. So first, let's talk about data types and the strength of the information by data type. The first two groups are attribute or qualitative data, and that's nominal and ordinal. Nominal is simply names, like go, no go, good, bad, different colors, different locations, different brands, while ordinal is ordered data. There's a first, second, and third place in the race. We used a Likert scale of strongly agree, agree, neutral, disagree, strongly disagree. So that's ordered data. Then there's variable or quantitative data. It's on a continuous type scale. And that can come in either interval or ratio, such as air pressure, time, temperature, and so on. And then ratio, the, the most informative, is, is used in statistical modeling. So now let's talk about data collection strategies. The first two are passive data collection strategies. Retrospective is historical data. That's data from records, from systems, from files. It's data that's been collected sometime in the past that we're now using on our data collection plan. Then there's observational. That's data that's collected during the process that's in operation. Data that you may be collecting or someone has been assigned to collect while the process is happening. And then finally, experimental. This is active data collection. We're looking for cause and effect relationships. The data is collected while we're changing different process settings to see what happens to the output of the process. Let's talk about and look at the data collection process. So the data collection pr process is here, and the inputs to that can be many tools that we use in our problem solving efforts, such as a SIPOC, our different process maps, our cause and effect diagram, or XY matrix, or cause and effect matrix, even surveys or failure modes and effects analysis. And the output of the, of the data collection plan may be graphical analysis, statistical analysis such as descriptive or inferential, root cause analysis, solution selection, implementation, and sustainment. So let's take a look at the data collection plan. And I like this quote from the former CEO of Yahoo as well. With data collection, the sooner the better is always the best answer. If you put off data collection, you're really putting off solving the problem. So this is a data collection template that's in the toolboxes that, that we have. And the problem we're working on is that we have family complaints about our microwave popcorn being burnt and stale. So because of that, we've listed several data collection items that we'd like to understand. First, we identify the operational definition. In this example, this first line item, I'm responsible to collect the data. The operational definition is the expiration date of the popcorn. The data type is nominal. The sample size is 100% of inventory. I'm going to do that today. The question is, I'm asking is the popcorn expired? And we'll record that on our data collection sheet. And it's a visual check. We're really going to just look at the popcorn to see what the expiration date is. So there are several items here, and we will fill this out trying to answer all these questions on the template. So I'm going to drop down to this one because it's a different data type. So I'm, I want to understand the amount of cooking time. The data type is interval or continuous. And we're going to do that using one popcorn cycle. The question is, how long is the cooking cycle? And we're going to use the data collection sheet to record it and the timer to collect the actual data. And here's another one. Uh, the brand of popcorn is the operational definition. Brand is nominal. We're going to frequency is 100% of the family. It's going to happen today. The question is, what is the preferred brand? And we're going to use a survey. So there's a lot of different methods for collecting data. There's various data types and various data sample sizes. So please don't forget to download your complimentary Excel toolbox. It will contain this tool and template as well as many others. You can get that at valuegenerationpartners.com. Select the downloads page and you can download any of these toolboxes, again, containing this template as well as many other templates. 
So good luck creating your data collection plan and thanks for joining this brief demonstration.